Alright guys, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to wire in a temperature controller into a freezer so that you can turn this freezer into a big fridge. Um, this method I'm using, I'm going to be replacing the um, thermostat, pulling the wires out of the thermostat and placing into the temperature controller. Um, the traditional way is to turn the whole freezer on and off. In this way we're only going to be turning, adjusting the, the thermostat that's there, but this will be um disconnected. Um, the advantages of this, we will have our fridge light will still work when it comes on. That should be on but it's not because it's unplugged. Um, and the other one is the fast freeze will still work down here. Now this way shouldn't void your warranty. Um, yeah. Now this is a, of course instructional only. Don't try and do this yourself. Get an electrician uh, to do this all that stuff, entertainment purposes only. So, the STC-1000, uh, great little controller you can get uh, online for $20, $22 Australian. Um, basically, you plug it into power, plug the sensor in, which is this one here, um, and then it'll either heat or cool, depending on what the, the sensor reads and what you set it at, um, by turning these relays on and off. So you can't just go and plug an element into here and expect it to work because it's not plugged into anything. You need to provide a power, power supply. Um, always switch the active if you have a choice. Um, so traditionally people would wire it in, so positive into one, negative into neutral, and then your sensor in. And then they'd also take a positive off one into the cooling, into seven, out of eight, and then into the device they want to heat, uh, they want to turn on and then provide the neutral back from that device back into the power lead which is probably number two there. Um, yeah, in this one all we're doing is plugging it in and switching this on and off by pulling this up, pulling the wires out of this and plugging them into um, seven and eight here. Um, I'll show you the schematic at the back. Just turn the light on so you can see I have to focus. Feel free to pause if you want to have a look. This is my fridge um, and get your electrician to have a look at their, yeah, your fridge and how it's wired all I'm doing is pulling this thermostat pulling the um, wire on either side um, off and then plugging the, the, either of these wires into the uh, temperature control and all the rest of these circuits will still work um, and there's the specs if you're interested um, again don't do this yourself um, get an electrician to do it Now in here, that's the temperature controller there, over the back, you can see we've got power freeze, quick freeze, oh, sorry, power quick freeze and thermostat. Thermostat's in the back here, that's one with the wire comes over here, comes down and around, that's its temperature gauge, um, in there, that's it there, and then underneath you've got the two contacts, I had this had two, two brown wires plugged into it, and that's them there. All right, basically what I'm doing is uh, extending these into the STC and then providing power for the STC and um, putting a thermostat, putting the temperature gauge into the STC. Um, pretty simple. Um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we just got the Sparky to wire this up. Um, this STC is now controlling the fridge. It's now on. Fast freeze option still works. So if I turn fast freeze on down there and this one off, the fridge will continue to stay on. If I turn that off, the fridge will turn off. Alright, we'll turn that back on and that one off so the fridge doesn't. Ah, so there we go. So what I forgot then, I forgot that that has a timer, the cool on timer, the, the compressor timer. I forgot that was there. Um, yeah. I'll just turn this off. But it's set at uh, 4 degrees with a uh, 2 degree difference and I've set it about 5 minutes compressor timer. Um, still learning how to use all this. I'll just turn this off. So I'm not turning the freezer on and off, on and off. I will get to installing this into the collar and this will, this, the gauge will have to go in it of course. The, um, so both are off so this is going to turn on. Light turns on. 
where it started to cool down in there. Um, one plug, obviously, at the back, as I promised. Um, Sparky did a good job. Everything's double, um, everything's double heat shrinked. Good solid solders, no dry joints. Um, yeah, this panel will go back on. That one there. There. Um, yeah, so, again, all we did was cut the, got the Sparky to cut the, um, uh, cut the uh, thermostat, so this thermostat doesn't do anything now. Yep, yeah, all we got to do now is um, install the collar, and should be good to go. Um, now, I did say at the start that this wouldn't void your warranty. It probably would void your warranty if you left it like this. Um, but the trick would be if you needed to return it for any disc any um, anything, you'd get you'd cut these off and recrimp new spade lugs um, spade lugs on and just pop them back on on in there those two terminals you can see just down the bottom let me get my finger uh, so you see the shadow there and there those two just put them back on and you'd re-lug this one neutral yeah all pretty simple um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Stay safe. Of course, don't attempt this yourself if you don't know what you're doing. Um, for your entertainment only, really. Again, thanks for watching and have a good one.